Hello. And welcome back to Mini Reads. Today we will be summarizing the book When You Slow Down, The Guide to Mindful Living by Heyman Sunan. When life feels chaotic and overwhelming, it can be difficult to find a sense of peace and purpose. In his book, When You Slow Down, The Guide to Mindful Living, Heyman Sunim offers a gentle and practical approach to finding balance in our busy lives. Drawing on his experiences as a Zen monk, Sunim provides insightful wisdom and guidance on how to slow down, reflect, and cultivate mindfulness in our everyday lives. Through a series of short and accessible chapters, he shares inspiring stories, simple practices, and thought-provoking reflections that can help us navigate the challenges of modern life with greater ease and clarity. Whether you are looking to reduce stress, deepen your relationships, or simply find more joy in each moment, when you slow down, offers a timely reminder to embrace the beauty of a slower, more mindful way of living. But, before we move ahead, please take a minute to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Chapter 1, Rest. The chapter explores the reasons why people in modern society struggle to find rest and relaxation. The author argues that the problem lies in the way we perceive rest. Instead of seeing it as a necessary part of life, we view it as a luxury or a reward that can only be earned after we've worked hard. This mentality leads to a constant state of busyness, where we feel guilty if we're not doing something productive. The chapter also highlights the negative effects of constant busyness on our physical and mental health, including stress, anxiety, and burnout. The author emphasizes the importance of taking breaks and creating space for rest and relaxation, even if it's just for a few minutes a day. Sunim suggests simple activities that can help us find rest and recharge, such as going for a walk, listening to music, or practicing mindfulness meditation. He also encourages readers to reflect on their values and priorities, and to make conscious choices about how they spend their time. Overall, the first chapter invites readers to reconsider their relationship with rest and busyness, and to prioritize self-care in their daily lives. Chapter 2, Mindfulness the chapter begins by explaining the concept of mindfulness and how it can be incorporated into daily life. Sunim defines mindfulness as the practice of being fully present in the moment, without judgment or distraction. He emphasizes the importance of cultivating mindfulness as a way to reduce stress and find inner peace. Sunim then explores various techniques for practicing mindfulness, including meditation and breathing exercises. He suggests starting with just a few minutes of meditation each day and gradually increasing the duration over time. He also recommends paying attention to the breath and using it as an anchor to keep the mind focused on the present moment. The chapter also delves into the benefits of mindfulness, both physical and mental. Sunim explains how mindfulness can reduce anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. It can also improve focus, productivity, and overall well-being. Towards the end of the chapter, Sunim discusses how mindfulness can help us connect with others on a deeper level. By being fully present and attentive to the people in our lives, we can cultivate stronger relationships and a greater sense of empathy and compassion. Overall, this chapter provides an introduction to the practice of mindfulness and its benefits. Sunim encourages readers to incorporate mindfulness into their daily lives, even in small ways, in order to experience greater peace and fulfillment. Chapter 3, Passion The chapter explores the concept of passion and how it relates to our personal fulfillment and happiness. The author emphasizes the importance of finding what we love and pursuing it, even if it means taking risks and facing challenges. Sunim believes that passion is not something that we simply stumble upon but something that we must actively seek out and cultivate. He suggests that we start by paying attention to what we enjoy doing and what brings us a sense of purpose and meaning in life. The author also encourages readers to let go of the fear of failure and instead view mistakes as opportunities for growth and learning. He argues that passion requires persistence and determination, and that setbacks and obstacles are simply part of the journey towards achieving our goals. Sunim emphasizes the importance of finding balance in our pursuit of passion, acknowledging that it is possible to become too focused on our goals and neglect other important aspects of our lives. He encourages readers to approach their passions with a sense of mindfulness and awareness, taking time to reflect on their motivations and goals. 
Overall, the chapter offers a thought-provoking exploration of the role that passion can play in our lives and encourages readers to pursue their dreams with intention, mindfulness, and perseverance. Chapter 4, Relationships. In this chapter, the author discusses the importance of relationships in our lives and how we can cultivate healthy relationships. Sunim emphasizes the need to slow down and listen attentively to others, rather than rushing through conversations or multitasking while someone is speaking. The author also highlights the importance of respecting the boundaries of others, being mindful of our own needs and emotions, and learning to communicate effectively. Sunim offers practical tips for improving communication and building stronger relationships, such as being present, empathizing with others, and expressing gratitude. Sunim also addresses the challenges that can arise in relationships, such as conflicts and disagreements, and offers advice for resolving them in a constructive way. He suggests that we approach conflicts with an open mind, listen actively to the other person's perspective, and strive for a mutually beneficial resolution. Overall, the chapter emphasizes the importance of relationships in our lives and offers practical advice for cultivating healthy and fulfilling connections with others. By slowing down and being mindful in our interactions with others, we can improve our relationships and live more meaningful lives. Chapter 5, Love The chapter is about the different aspects of love and how to cultivate a loving attitude towards oneself and others. Sunim describes love as a source of happiness, but also as a source of pain and suffering. He emphasizes the importance of loving oneself first, accepting one's flaws and imperfections, and practicing self-compassion. Sunim argues that loving oneself is not selfish, but rather necessary for cultivating healthy relationships with others. He also highlights the importance of cultivating loving relationships with others by showing kindness, empathy, and compassion. Sunim advises readers to be present and attentive when interacting with loved ones, and to actively listen to them without judgment or criticism. He also stresses the importance of forgiveness and letting go of grudges and resentments in order to maintain healthy relationships. Throughout the chapter, Sunim uses anecdotes and personal experiences to illustrate his points, and he provides practical tips for cultivating love and kindness in one's life. Ultimately, he suggests that love is a fundamental human need and that by cultivating a loving attitude towards oneself and others, one can experience greater happiness and fulfillment in life. Chapter 6, Life In this chapter, Sunim shares insights on how to live in the present moment and appreciate the beauty of everyday experiences. Sunim encourages readers to take a break from the distractions of technology and the fast-paced nature of modern life in order to fully engage with the world around them. He suggests simple practices like taking a walk in nature, meditating, or spending time with loved ones without any distractions. Sunim also emphasizes the importance of cultivating a sense of gratitude and finding joy in the small things in life. He encourages readers to take notice of the beauty in everyday objects, like a flower or a sunset, and to appreciate the kindness of others. Overall, Sunim's message in this chapter is to slow down and savor the moments that make up our lives, rather than rushing through them in pursuit of something else. By living in the present moment and finding joy in simple pleasures, we can cultivate a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Chapter 7, The Future The chapter explores the topic of uncertainty and anxiety about the future. The author acknowledges that we cannot predict the future, and worrying about it only leads to stress and anxiety. He suggests that we need to cultivate a sense of mindfulness and focus on the present moment rather than constantly worrying about the future. Sunim encourages us to adopt a flexible mindset and embrace change rather than resisting it. He also suggests that we need to trust in the process of life and have faith that things will work out in the end. The author also emphasizes the importance of self-care and taking breaks from our daily routines to recharge our batteries. Furthermore, Sunim reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles, and we can find comfort and support in our relationships with others. He encourages us to connect with those around us and be open to receiving help from others. In conclusion, the chapter encourages readers to let go of their worries about the future and focus on the present moment. By cultivating mindfulness, adopting a flexible mindset, trusting in the process of life, 
and seeking support from others, we can find peace and contentment in our lives. Chapter 8, Spirituality The chapter explores the nature of spirituality and how it can be cultivated in our daily lives. The author explains that spirituality is not necessarily linked to any particular religion or belief system, but rather refers to the search for meaning and connection in life. Sunim describes various practices that can help individuals cultivate spirituality, such as mindfulness meditation, spending time in nature, engaging in creative pursuits, and developing a sense of gratitude. He also emphasizes the importance of developing a sense of compassion and empathy towards others, as this can help us feel more connected to the world around us. Throughout the chapter, Sunim shares personal anecdotes and insights from his own spiritual journey, and encourages readers to find their own path towards greater spirituality. He suggests that by slowing down and taking time to reflect on our lives, we can cultivate a deeper sense of meaning and purpose, and find greater fulfillment and joy in our daily experiences. Conclusion Sunim provides readers with insightful advice and practical exercises that help them cultivate mindfulness and live a more intentional life. He highlights the importance of being present in the moment and encourages readers to embrace their imperfections and practice self-compassion. In the end, Sunim reminds us that slowing down doesn't mean we are giving up on our goals or ambitions, instead, it allows us to appreciate the journey and the present moment. By slowing down, we can cultivate deeper connections with ourselves and others, find joy in the simple things, and ultimately live a more fulfilling life. Overall, When You Slow Down is a must-read for anyone looking to improve their mental and emotional well-being and live a more meaningful life. Sunim's wisdom and guidance offer a refreshing perspective on modern life and inspire readers to slow down and savor the beauty of the present moment. So, that's the complete summary of the book, Ikigai, by Hector Garcia and Francesc Miralles. Please do like and subscribe for more inspiring content. Thanks for watching.